Hi guys. This is a review of Chartan Flake for the Blend Club. It's supposed to be um, a Dunhill um, replacement or as near to Dunhill Flake as can be got. Never having had Dunhill Flake, I don't know. But it's a, a traditional flake, apparently, uh, comprising of the highest quality Virginia leaves, carefully balanced with a bronze and heavy body Virginias, finished with a special flavour, providing a delicate spice aroma. And the tin note really is very good. Excuse me, I'm just going to adjust that. Um, I'm not a Virginia smoker. It, I haven't been in the past because I suffered intolerable tongue burn. But I'll show you what the flake looks like. It's a beautiful flake. You can see um, it's quite thick in, in relation to many flakes. If you rub it down it makes a fairly thick um, Um, it's gone. It, the the um, tobacco's fairly thick strands. I must say that I rather like this blend. Um, at the moment I'm smoking it in my new um, falcon pot which was the other pot had a fault in it and thanks to GQ Tobacco and it, it was replaced and I'm very grateful for that. It was amazing service. This one has got a better fitting and it smokes perfectly. In this pipe it burns a bit hot and if I don't sip it definitely tongue burn. But I've smoked it in various other pipes with filters um, with no tongue burn at all. It's got a lovely um, tin note, very fruity, very um, impressive when you first open the tin. Uh, it smokes well, burns down to a, the very end and a fine white ash. It lights well as long as you don't pack it too tight. Um, because I'm talking too much of it's gone out but it had a very um, for me a very pleasant taste I could taste the sort of Virginia's obviously because it's all Virginia but it it had a not a feel taste for me, but a very good tobacco taste and I've really enjoyed it. This isn't going to be a very long review because I'm very, it's very difficult for me to pick out um, different tobaccos, different tastes um, and all I can say a lot of times is that I really enjoy it. The flake is just perfect. It doesn't need drying. But I did dry one till it was totally dry and smoked it. And again, tasted well. Didn't suffer from being dry. Um, has a, a nice, easy smoke. It's something that, I sm that I've been smoking quite a lot to get used to it not having smoked many Virginias before. It's not something that I would smoke all day every day, but just for a change it would make for me a nice pleasant smoke. Um, it's a bit too light for me. I've no idea what the nicotine 
values like because as I've said many times I don't experience nicotine hits at all but I would recommend that you try this if you like Virginia's especially I've got a feeling that it probably is very much like the Dunhill flake but as I say I haven't any experience of that I'm looking forward to trying the other blends that we've got um, coming up because if there if this one's anything like them I'm in for a good time and that's very hard for me to say who doesn't normally like Virginia's um, maybe I'll try one or two different ones so I'm going to end it there and say I hope you're all enjoying the blend club and the flakes and those of you who are around at the pipe club at the Nottingham pipe fair later on this year I hope to see you there please speak because I am very shy and I find it quite difficult to start a conversation unless it's somebody that I know and feel that I won't be rejected by. So, good night my friends and may every day be perfect. <laughs>